Okie dokie dokie dokie. Alright, when we last left off, we just landed on Namek. I did take the liberty of leveling up a smidge. What's a smidge? We are level 15. I mean, it doesn't. Oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Forgot to mute. Wow. Actually, yeah, you do this part. I hate this part. Basically, I guess what it'll work out is I get to do this part. You can uh, fight the Ginyu Force. And then I'll get Frieza. That's fair. Because, like I said, I fought Frieza last time. really have a bad memory. Oh, Jesus. The good news is, you didn't die. Bad news is, you almost died. It's like, yeah, I'm 15, but this game is still hard. I don't even think the levels matter. They do. Not as much as they should. Okay. The story quest, or side quest, I mean, give you your speed, which you need. Yeah. Go turn that fan off. Legacy of Goku 2. You can tell how much damage you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a lot of guesswork in this one. I mean, I understand it was the first one. But well, I don't I really appreciate when you have it in the second one. Yeah, I don't want to rehash, you know, the last stream where we literally just talked about all the things that were wrong with this game. Because, I mean, it's still fun. Oh, no. You can... What... You can definitely tell, like, the things that they didn't implement in this game. They yeah. definitely put in the second one. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then things that they had in the second one... They didn't... They... They improved some on the third one. But it was kind of not needed. Well, except for, you know, beams. Let's see. Yeah, we can fly. Like, a lot now. I can tell we're at 33. <laughs> Ow, fucker. Come here, ah! You ever played Super Sonic Warriors? Uh, a little bit. I love that game. Now. Legendary Super Warriors is my shit. The GB... GBC. It's the card game. Oh, yeah. Fucking love that game. You know, the card game you keep saying you love, but every time we talk about the card game, you also say... <laughs> well, it's, the TCG is ass. The TGC has cool-looking cards. That's about it. it. Yeah, um, that's literally it. I mean, I even like the, the game, though. Like, it's fun. It makes fucking sense. The DBZ card game, like the actual, like official TCG, does not make any goddamn sense. Didn't it make like the actual TCG uh, for the GBA? Yes. And that's how I tried to learn it. That's no. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Told everybody, man, I'll stick with one card game. Two tops. And I don't really care for Magic. I think the cards look neat. That's about it. Yeah, Magic the Gathering, it has really cool card art. I will grant that. But that's not enough. Well, 
so does Pokemon. <laughs> and certain Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Punch this dirt. Punch it, dirt. Boop. I need to find the other two shrubs. Is his bean stronger than his punches? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that piece of cookie stuff. Well, as long as you hit. Oh. Well, uh, as long as you have a full charge. Frieza soldiers give 10,000 each. Stupid. It gives you one of the best farming spots in the entire game. I mean, though. a lot of people will bitch about the, you know, a lot of the game's memory came because they added little scenes and stuff in it. But, you know, it's, it's why it kind of gives it its touch. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they probably could have been smarter or whatever, but, you know, when you think about Legacy of Goku 1, you think about, wow, this was the first game that kind of gave me scenes from the show. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of unheard of for an handheld. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, even, they even did it better in Legacy of Goku 2. Yeah. That's the funny thing. I mean, such a it tiny wasn't cartridge as, had that It wasn't as grainy and pixelated. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was still grainy and pixelated, but it wasn't this bad. No, no, I understand. And these games have fucking fantastic music. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of the purest bitch of some of the re-envisioning of the Bruce Faulkner tracks, but I think some of them are better. Like, Trunks' theme from Legacy of Goku 2, which is a variation of the future theme. Yeah. Fucking amazing. Let's see the purest or whatever we call them. Or also the type of people that give gamers a bad name. That's true. I mean, they're the people that stand in the category that make it to where people like us are kind of shunned by certain adults, certain, you know, high on end people, and also make, sadly, you know, the female side of the gaming community just not want to do it. That's why I hate peers. Or neckbeards. <laughs> I can see both sides of it. I really can. But I can to an extent. I mean, you know how I am. I'm, I'm, I'm always the guy that has always got you know the positive type answer. But ain't there one in one of these houses? That's what I was thinking. But um, when you act like. If you're the category that acts like a douche most of the time, it's kind of hard to oh, always... Aw, son of a bitch. <laughs> Shit. I went in a building. Oh, yeah, the enemies respawn. Yep. Uh, I hope you like having quarter health. This ain't gonna last long. Uh. 
Really? The hitboxes in this game. I think the middle of the Kamehameha hits. I don't think like I don't think this part and this part hits. I think it's like that happy middle. Yeah. That kid looks like a big ass Chico stick, but the Chico stick doesn't fuck it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ah, I don't know where that third sapling is. It's over here. <laughs> it's right there. I wish I. I still stand by the question I asked you earlier, though. Like, if a Saiyan has blonde hair pregame, does their hair go black Super Saiyan? <laughs> I will answer that with a resounding. Uh. <laughs> I mean, come on. Whoa! Did you see that? Like, dude, just like. Mm -hmm. Oh! Well, that's fun. Good news is, we know where the last one's at. Well, no, I'm being serious. I mean, you ain't gotta. You ain't gotta go through. There's, I'll probably die to the Ganyan Force. <laughs> you think that guy knew he was gonna die right there? <laughs> he just kinda accepted the wall. Did Legacy Goku 2 start of the overworld? Like where you had to yeah. do the flying? Mm -hmm. See, that's what I. That's the number one thing I remember about these games was the massive flying overworld. See, I've only beaten this one like three times. I've beaten two once. And I've beaten three like 20 times. Most exciting thing about Legacy of Goku 1? Knowing that next comes Legacy of Goku 2. I remember the first time I played uh, like I said, Goku uh, 3. You know, Goku was my Boo's favorite. Fury. Uh, Goku was my favorite character, so you know, every time I got a chance, I was like, "Fuck yeah, Goku! I'm playing with it." And then I got to the part where I forgot something. What happens during the Kid Boo fight? Goku and Vegeta tag in and out. Yep. And my Vegeta was You didn't level Vegeta. So weak. <laughs> oh god. So I was like, oh, this is not gonna go well for me. Kid Boo hit me and almost all my health went away, and I'm like, oh no. I'm at the final fight and I gotta level up Vegeta. Cause that was the time where I didn't like Vegeta. Mm -hmm. Because I guess I was just young. Stupid. And um I just regretted it. And now, I always make it a point to level up Vegeta first before Goku. <laughs> because it, after a while, it becomes really easy to level up Goku. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I had no flight. Oh. Uh, Damn it. Sucks. This game is so hard. Really? Go fuck yourself. Now, when I first played through Legacy of Goku 2, I knew I knew how this, this, the whole thing was supposed to play out. So I'm like, go on, you gonna get my level foot, bitch. I know what you gotta fucking do. <laughs> it's very reminiscent of the show, though. Like, when you go SS2, you become God. Sells a fucking joke. Um... Game Shark? Um... Game Shark? I'm about to Game Shark. I... Uh, I think it's... It's official.